Welcome to the Lotus Goddess, my love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well, staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Transmitting from the Charm Readings. Let's see what messages comes through. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. Divine Masculine, um, there's something about a shocking realization about who this person really is. This Divine Masculine is starting to know the truth about a karmic person. Um, karmic person could be a family member, could be a friend, could be um, a partner. Uh, just take it as it resonates. Uh, but I do see it as somebody who could be in a very close relationship to Divine Masculine. Uh, this Divine Masculine, there's... This truth, this realization, something that's very shocking for this Divine Masculine to even, I feel like, to accept or to understand. But there is there is no choice but to accept the fact. Because whatever is being shown to Divine Masculine, I see here that the timing is right. This is Divine timing. Divine Masculine is being shown things that... They, didn't, they couldn't see before. It's like right in Divine Masculine's face. So I see here, um, they have no choice but to accept what is being shown to them. What follows that is that there is some sort of separation. Divine Masculine will make the decision to separate from this person. And I see this person not um, trying to defend themselves because it's kind of like they know that I got caught. It's like I they know... They know everything, so there's no point for me to kind of like defend myself to Divine Masculine here. So this person is going to accept this loss, this um, this separation between them and Divine Masculine. I see here that this person is just going to walk away. And I see it as also avoiding conversation with Divine Masculine. So if Divine Masculine is going to maybe question this person for... It's like, give me answers. Why did you say this? Why what? Why did this happen? Why have you been doing this? That sort of thing. Um, this person is not going to explain themselves. They're just going to ignore um, Divine Masculine. Because I see here no communication between these two. Uh, Divine Masculine states the facts to this person about what they know. The truth that they, that they and that realization that has come in. This masculine is going to confront this person. And I see here that this person cannot um, stand. It's it's like somebody just saying all these things to, for example, Divine Masculine is just telling this person all these things that they know about this person now. It's like s spilling out all this truth. It's like, I know this, I know this, I know this. Explain. And this person doesn't want to talk. This person knows that they're has been a lot that has been going on and they don't feel um, the need to say anything. It's like, why should I? So I see that this person has this very, um, there's this arrogance to them. I see them walking away as if it, they are not um, bothered by what Divine Masculine has found out or has come to know. Divine Masculine can see uh, their their actions, they can see that this person's um, demeanor, something about the way that they they um, express themselves, the way that they they carry themselves is a little bit different now um, because the truth has come out. It's like this person's like, oh, good, now I don't have to um, pretend or to act as if I'm this way. Um, I can show who I really am. So this divine masculine is starting to see the truth about this person. I see here that they're questioning who who was this person that I trusted so much. Who 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 are they really? 
um, because now that they're seeing that this person is a lot different than what they thought they were. So there's this question in here, um, a little bit of a confusing confusion. I see here, who are you? Um, that's the question that's coming in here. Who are you really? Um, there's something that's following this. So I'm going to share that. And um, there's a few things here. So one thing I see here that there's a group of people that are very close to divine mask. And I feel that they are family members. I see her group group, um, very close loved ones. Divine masculine is going to try to restore that connection. This, this karmic person and this divine masculine, the life that they've created for themselves, it was a very, um, I see here as very isolated life. So this divine masculine didn't really socialize. They didn't really sp spend, um, time with anyone else but this person. And I see here that they may have created distance between themselves and their their family, their loved ones. Divine Masculine has decided to um, separate from this karmic person. And I see here moving forward, they're going to slowly try to restore that connection with their loved ones, with their family. It's showing a new beginning. Um, they, they want to have the life that they always imagined for themselves. And they know the first thing to do is to make things right. So make the wrongs right. And this Divine Masculine will be very humble when they return. I see here um, humble and they're the first ones who are going to put their hand out. It's like um, if they didn't, if they, for, for example, like even if this Divine Masculine had created a distance between them and the family. If this divine masculine, for example, didn't get along with one of their family members or they had an argument with the family member, I see divine masculine being the one to put out the hand and say, I'm sorry. This is something that this masculine will, will need to put, um, it's like they're going to put that arrogance that, um, push the ego aside. To make things right and if it means that this divine masculine needs to be the first one to say sorry they know that they probably have to because it's i feel like the right and wrong was on both sides like divine masculine may have said some things that were not right also so in that way yes this divine masculine should say sorry if there was something that was maybe um that hurts someone's feelings or something like that. So I see here that this Divine Masculine will be the first one to say I'm sorry. But I feel like the person who is receiving that apology will do the same. I feel like it will be equal because I see here that they care for Divine Masculine. They're tired of the separation as well. And they they will also apologize. They will also say sorry. They will also, um, you know, and I feel like that handshake will be followed with a hug and embrace um, like, I miss you, like, um, really a genuine, um, a genuine apology. That's what it feels like. I see our very close, close ties. It's like the bond was never broken between Divine Masculine and these loved ones. It, it always remained. It's just that in reality, the distance was created, but the love always was there. There's something about wanting to stand up for um, the connection. Uh, I see here making things right with the family, making things right with their loved ones. And this also includes divine feminine. Standing up for the relationship, for the connection. Um, when I say relationship, it means the, the relationship that you two had, had created before. It's like... It may have it may have taken time, but it's like now this divine masculine will will stand up for that. Um, the relationship you two had, what you shared, it's like they knew that they didn't they didn't give it their all then. But it's like now I'm I want to I want to make things right. So I see her standing up for uh, what is right, standing up for you. Uh, they will speak very highly of you. I see her. They're very happy about um, when they think about you. They're happy about the times that they, they shared with you. 
Um, even if you two are not talking, I see here there could be some a little bit of a distance here, whether it be physically, you know, proximity, like the distance is it's far, long distance, or it could be maybe you two are not talking, but I see here that they think about you, they dream about you. I see here daydreaming, uh, dreaming at night, but a lot of daydreaming and thinking about how things should have played out. It's like they have a memory, they have captured a memory of your past. So this is something that you two actually did. This is a memory that, um, that you two share and they kind of like daydream like how it should have ended or daydreamed if it were to continue. It's like a different ending to the story. And they want to make it real this time. It's like if, for example, if you two went out for a walk and then, you know, Divine Masculine and you um, went, you know, went home, right? You went to your house, Divine Masculine went to your ho their house, and that's it, right? And that was the end of that, that date or that day. Um, this Divine Masculine imagines that day playing out differently. It's like, oh, we didn't, we didn't just go home. So, Right after dinner, we went, we saw a movie and then we went to the park and then we had ice cream. You see, they changed the end of that story. They changed the end of that memory. And this to my mask is like, now when it comes to the end of that relationship when you two went into separation this divine masculine is imagining something else that if that ending didn't take place how would it how would have how would our life have played out and this is what this divine masculine is doing and they're like i want this to be a reality so i see here making the wrongs right this divine masculine is not only visualizing about a new um a new end to certain memories right? A better ending to the story, but Divine Masca wants it to be real this time. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, and thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye everyone.